Hi everyone, uh, my name is Don Mai. I work here at Fullerton College Library and I will be taking you on a tour. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, this is uh, the Fullerton College uh, quad. So here you go. All right, and let's go inside. All right, guys, welcome to the Fullerton College Library. Um, and this is gonna be the first floor. There you go. And we're gonna start the tour off at reference. So this is our reference area. Um, so this right here is, oh, there it is, the reference desk. Um, it's staffed by two librarians that'll help you out should you have any research questions or just questions in general. Um, there will be librarians here um, when we open up again that can help you. Uh, over here, we have our research computers. So in order to log on to any of the computers here, you'll have to log on with your My Gateway login, which is your student ID number and then whatever password you decided on. Um, these computers, uh, they're for research only. So you can't write papers on them but uh, you can research your paper. Uh, over here, we have our book scanner on the right and then a microfilm reader on the left, okay? And then in the library, there are three printers. So here's printer one, printer two right there, right there at the two. And this one right here is our third printer. Um, Prints are 10 cents for a black and white and then 25 cents for copies, okay? Um, and then if you look over here, these are our reference books. So reference books are research only. Um, so they have to stay in the library. You cannot check them out. Uh, if you need information and you, or you need the book for longer or sections of it, what we recommend is either you make photocopies or uh, take pictures on your phone, okay? Uh -huh. Come over here. This is our commons area. So this is like uh, where students go. You can just grab a cubicle and study. Um, also, we have three rows of computers here that uh, you actually can use to write papers if you need to, okay? So these are all-purpose computers that you can use. Okay. Then if you come over here, you walk in here, these are our copiers. So there's two down here. And then on the second floor, there's two more. They're 10 cents for a black and white copy. We do not offer color. So it's only black and white here in the library. Um, and in this area right here, this is circulation and reserve. So cir circulation are two week items. Um, they're books that are located on the second floor. Reserve items are two hours. So uh, the most popular reserve items I'm gonna tell you are textbooks. So those are, these textbooks right here are reserve textbooks and they're specifically for classes. Um, they're two hour checkouts uh, and a lot of students would like them longer, but we can't let you borrow them for any longer than two hours because we wanna be equitable to all students. Um, so if you get it for two hours, we'd like to you know, give it to another student for a couple hours. Um, and a big reason why is because these books are very limited. Uh, uh, so yeah, so return them after two hours and you know, if the, you can check it out again if we have other copies. Um, what else? Other reserve items we have outside of textbooks, we also have laptops that are really popular, uh, phone chargers, we have iPhone and Android, and calculators. So we have TI-83s and TI-84s and TI-30s for checkout, okay? Um, and so that is gonna be the first floor. And just so you guys know, uh, the computers right here on these columns, they are our, um, our quick, what is, what is the, I forgot the terminology, but essentially it's for you to jump on, check emails or, or just quick things, quick items. So they're 10 minute logins only, okay? 
So you can't write a paper on them. Oh, but you can print. So if you need to print something quick, you can jump on there. Let's go up to the second floor. And this third, oops, I kind of missed it. You guys can see, this is the first floor. And let's go upstairs. Oh, real quick guys. So on the other side of that glass partition, that is the writing center and the tutoring center. They are part of the academic support center. So if you need any help with the uh, papers or a subject or a class, uh, you, you can get help on that side, okay? Uh, you don't just have to go over there and you can get information. All right. Okay, so here we are on the second floor. All right, and let's walk over here. So on the second floor littered throughout will be tables and chairs that you can sit in to study at, okay? Um, back here specifically though, this is our quiet area. So this is silent study. Um, usually uh, you can find a spot, I would say, except for around midterm or final. That is when we're really busy. But other than that, it, you will probably be able to find a spot. Oh, rainy days as well. But uh, outside of that, um, you should be able to find a spot to sit. Okay, and real quick, I'm going to sit back. So these are our circulation books. So you can check out these books. And it's on this whole side of the building. It goes all the way down there and it goes further back there. But all these books, you can check out for two weeks at a time, as long as you have a current student ID. All right. We're gonna walk over here and I'm gonna show you our study rooms. So students can check out study rooms to, to honestly study in. Uh, so study room requires two student IDs. Um, they have to be current and there has to be two or more people in the study room. So. Uh, what we get is a lot of students that come in and they ask if they can check out a study room for themselves. They cannot. You have to have two or more people and it can go as high as six for most rooms. There is one room that has eight, uh, eight uh, max capacity. Um, and if you guys notice, there are dry erase boards in the study room. So if you have your student ID, you can also check out dry erase, board, dry erase markers down uh, at the circulation counter. Okay, and then also I'm going to show you guys after we get through with these stud rooms. At the end, we have one room. It's called the one button room. So this room, uh, you can go in here and you can create videos. Uh, a lot of students use this to actually practice speeches. Uh, they can record themselves and just see how they speak. Or they can make videos for like a... For... There we go. They can make videos, uh, like on these posts online, like social media or like as a class project. And so we have, you know, the camera right here and then lights and then a background. Oh, and that background. We do have students bring in props too. So that, I mean, there are limits to what you can bring in, but you know, they are allowed. Okay, so. Lock this and then lock. All right, and then we're gonna come out through this way. All right, guys. So, just so you can see our general collection. So, there's plenty of books. All right, let's go. And the final spot I'm gonna show you will be our reading area. So this right here, um, this is where the students like to go to either study, read, sleep, um, uh, this area right here. So, and it's honestly the best spot on campus because of the view. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna pan for you guys to see, okay? So you can see the campus from here. Alright guys, so that ends our tour. Um, 
Uh, I, as someone that has uh, taken an online class and failed, uh, it's been a difficult year. Uh, we here at the library are here to help. Um, the be if you have questions or anything like that, the best way to contact us would be to go to the library website. It's going to be library.fullcall.edu. Um, other than that, um, I wish you guys, I wish you guys the best. All right, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, bye.